Do you get on sales calls and you don't close them out and the only th reason you can think that's happening is because the client doesn't trust you or maybe they just said they don't trust you out of the blue. In today's video, I'm going to teach you the reason why that is and some strategies you can use to build trust with the prospects when you're on the call with them and make more money. So for those who don't know who I am, my name is Uncle Jimmy and I've been running my agency, my online guy for over eight years now. And I've literally helped hundreds of SMMA owners at this point learn to deliver their service so they can fulfill their guarantees and scale their agencies sustainably. All right, so let's just get straight into this. This is actually a question that I found in school and I thought, why not answer it? Because I have a unique take. It's a little bit of a hot take, but it's very unique and it's the secret to my success. For context, I don't guarantee anything. I've never guaranteed anything and I'm running a seven figure agency now. Clearly there's a way of doing this that doesn't require a guarantee. And I've got some theories on why I'm able to do it and why others aren't. So let's just read the question here. Prospects don't trust me. Hi guys, I've been doing sales calls. So far I've done seven sales calls and I've closed one. I keep on getting the objection where prospects don't trust me. They don't even think I'm a real business. I don't have much of an online presence and I'm just starting out. For example, I don't have an ABN name yet, which is an Australian business number, and I don't have a website or any social media accounts except for LinkedIn. What are your thoughts on overcoming this objection and what should I do? Okay, so generally, if you're getting the inkling that the client's not trusting you, it's a lot to do with how you say things and not what you say, honestly. And I know this is a bit of a hot take because other people have got strategies around manipulating people into buying. I don't believe in that. I believe the secret to sales is building a connection with someone. And there's a lot of people out there that agree with me on that, but I'm gonna do my best to articulate what that means. So I've found over the years, I've never had a problem with selling. So when I first started selling, I really struggled to close out people and I couldn't exactly work out why. And it wasn't until I made a conscious effort to learn how to talk properly that the sales started coming. And I think that's your problem here, Thomas, potentially, is it's not necessarily what you're saying, it's how you're saying it. And let's break that down a little bit. I'll tell you a little bit about my story and then we'll translate that into how it helps you. So when I first started in sales, I was in agriculture. So I was selling machinery and I had no idea about machinery or agriculture. And what I found is when I went out and did my sales calls and things like that, people just weren't interested in hearing what I had to say. And they had no reason to, honestly. I provided no value in the conversation, basically. So obviously I just couldn't do that because I didn't want to lose my job. So what I did every day, and I'm talking like every day for the first six months of working in agriculture for about 15, 20 minutes a day, I sat in front of a mirror and I talked to myself. And I just talked about a topic I knew nothing about in agriculture. So say for instance, a harvester, right? I would sit in front of a camera and go, Okay, so a harvester is a machine that's designed to go through a, a paddock and take off the crop and make it so that it can be sold. So I would just practice talking to myself. Now, the actual physical action of talking does one really specific thing that makes a massive difference when it comes to selling. It makes you comfortable with your own voice. And this is the biggest reason people don't get better at talking is because they physically can't hear themselves talk. So... There's generally, most people out there don't actually like the sound of their own voice. And it's only because they just haven't heard themselves talk enough. And because they don't like the sound of their own voice, they don't listen to themselves talk. So that is what that did for me. Yeah, I obviously had to learn what I was talking about, but what it allowed me to do is it allowed me to start listening to myself and hearing myself in real, real time. So it's, am I coming off boring? Am I coming off too aggressive? Am I coming off too passive? I could hear that in my voice. Then I started learning how to modulate my voice and speed up and slow down and listen to others and match the pacing of the conversation. And that made a massive difference in my ability to sell. So a very good example of this is something I see with young guys, right? So a lot of the clients you're gonna be speaking to are in their 40s or 50s, might even be in their 60s. Someone in their 60s speaks a very different way to someone in their 20s. And I see this all the time. I hate being called bro. In a sales call, I get someone call me a bro and it annoys me. It's, I'm not your bro, man. And it sounds rude, but it's, it just detracts from the sales call, sales call. So what you really need to do is match the pacing and the cadence of the person you're speaking to so they can hear you. A lot of times if you're speaking too fast or too slow or you're monotone, basically the person you're talking to doesn't hear you and then they're just in their own head trying to work out what are you trying to sell me and is it something that's valuable? 
So obviously talking to a mirror is one way to do it. Another way to do it, and this is what I highly recommend people do, is talk about topics that you're not comfortable with and do it over Loom and then watch the Loom back to yourself. So if I was going to do it again, I would basically turn Loom on and I would talk through something, my sales pitch, say for instance, I would talk through my sales pitch to myself on Loom and I would listen back to it. And then when I did it again the next day, I would just articulate, modulate my voice to see if it comes off the way I want it to. Now, obviously this is just a theory, but it's the reason why I think I don't need a guarantee is because when I talk, I give an inherent level of trust because of the amount of inflection I use when I talk. It just comes off that I'm really passionate about the topic, right? And let's talk about this pen for instance, right? So a lot of you out there will be like, if you're wanting to propose this pen to someone, you might be like, this pen is really good. It has a lot of features, blah, 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 blah. Whereas a slight difference to that using inflection makes a massive difference. This pen is one of the best pens I've ever used in my life. And if you don't buy it, you're really going to be sorry. See the difference inflection makes when you talk. So when you're talking to clients and they don't trust you, a lot of the time it's because you're not really giving them a reason to trust you because they don't know your service. They don't know you. So they're going to latch on to anything they instinctually know, which is communicating. A lot of these business owners are incredible at communicating, right? So if they're communicating with you and they're like, why is this guy calling me a bro? Or why is this guy talking really fast? I can barely understand him. Or why is he shaking? Or why is he nervous? Or why is he boring to listen to? I'm just not going to listen to him. That hurts the whole trust thing. The whole trust, that hurts the whole trust situation. Whereas if you match their cadence, if you talk with inflection, if you talk with passion and energy, then they're going to be like, I trust Jimmy because he really knows what he's talking about. Or I trust Jimmy because he's a really good guy. I get that a lot when I do sales calls is people tell me they went with me because they trust me. And I'm not doing anything different to you to get them to trust me except for modulating my voice, using inflection and talking with a lot of energy that's managed by hearing my own voice and toning it up and down based on what I'm hearing. And I really feel like if you're getting those objections, that would be the reason for it as the person is not connecting with you at a more higher level and that's why they're not trusting you. So my advice to you, Thomas, is try talking to yourself in front of a mirror about any topic, Facebook ads, Google ads, selling, whatever, just a topic you're not necessarily super comfortable with. Talk to yourself, watch yourself back, listen to yourself and get better at talking, get better at using inflection and get better at communicating. Because trust me, if you can do that, you'll start to connect people at a higher level and they will start to trust you on sales calls. So hopefully that helps. Let me know in the comments if that's helpful to you or let me know if there's another topic you guys want me to talk about. I'm going to finish this one up. So I'm Jimmy and I'll catch you in the next video.